Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to do a little video on um, watercolor paper for painting tattoo flash. Uh, I've got four different papers here. Um, I've used two of them before, which is these two, the arches. And I've never tried either one of these. So we're going to try those out today and see what we think about them. These three here are all cold press and this is hot press. So there's a little more texture on these three, which the arches cold press seems to have the most texture. This is a Windsor Newton cold press. It's kind of got some texture, a little more than this one but not as much as the arches. And this one, I believe, is pronounced Hannah Mule. Hannah, Hannah New Mule. But it is also a cold press watercolor paper and it doesn't have too much texture to it. So all four of these are 100% cotton. We're just kinda gonna test a few different things on them and see what we think. So I'm going to start with the Arches Cold Press because I've used it the most. I'm going to be using a little fountain pen. It's just a little dip nib. And I'm going to be using this Windsor Newton Black India ink. I've heard good things about this. the Windsor Newton cold press almost seems like it's a little more dense than the arches and the texture is a little seems a little bit more rough like I can feel it more and almost wants to pull the nib kind of certain ways and here's the Hannah Mule cold press. It feels pretty smooth. And I don't really feel any of the texture of the paper trying to pull the nib. It seems to absorb the ink pretty quick. And it has a nicer feel when I'm doing line work on it. Alright, here's the Arches Hot Press, so we're just going to do the same thing. So right away I can tell it's definitely giving me the cleanest lines. Like the edges of the lines seem to stay pretty tight. And there's none of that texture, so it doesn't feel like the nibs getting pulled one way or the other. Okay, so after doing some lines on all four of these, I have to say the Arches Hot Press was probably the easiest to put lines down on. I really like this Hannah Mule paper. It's got some texture, but it's not too much texture, and it kind of leaves the lines a little more organic on the edges. The Windsor Newton and the Arches Cold Press are pretty rough, and... I could see it being a little more difficult to lay down clean lines on these. I'm gonna move on to doing some spit shading. So I'm just gonna do a couple little black fades. We'll do like a small fade and i try to pull a longer fade out. And I'm still gonna be using this Windsor Newton ink. It's got the little spider dude on it. I don't know if you probably can't see that. So as far as brushes go, I like to use a number three round and a number six round. I use the number three to lay down the black or the color that I'm using and the number six to pull out my fades and uh, basically use as a water or a spit brush. Okay, so the arch is cold press. I think it gets a little bit more of a grainy blend. I think I might do one more fade right here. Alright, so next we're gonna do some black fades on the Windsor Newton. Alright, 
So, just to compare the Windsor Newton and the Arches cold press paper, because they're the most similar, I do think the Arches has a little bit of a warmer tone to the paper, and the Windsor Newton has a little bit more of a cool tone. So, next we're gonna try the, the Hannah Moule, or whatever it's called. fades um, just because the texture is so fine on the paper. I did notice the arches cold press leaves a little bit more of a sheen on the surface of the ink. You still get pretty much overall similar results of all four of these. I think I prefer this hand of moonlight or the arches hot press the best. The Windsor Newton cold press and the Arches cold press. I think the texture is just a little bit too rough. I mean, it's hard to get smoother blends and uh, cleaner lines on these. I think this is probably my favorite, the uh, Hannah Moule cold press. It has just a small amount of texture. I like how that looks, but that's just personal preference. So we're gonna move on to playing with a little bit of color. The colored ink I'm using is Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay India ink. Really my first time using this stuff. I was trying to find the Dr. P.H. Martin Hydrus liquid acrylic, but they didn't have it. So I went with this stuff instead. It's a little bit cheaper. I actually really like this stuff. It stays bright and it's super translucent, so your black shows through it pretty good. So the colors I'm going to be using is this green, and I like this green color because it's almost has a little bit of blue in it, so it looks kind of closer to like a traditional like seafoam kind of old school looking green. So I think that's going to look really nice with uh, traditional flash. And all of these inks are non-toxic. So the green is 4BY, and it's just called green. The red I'm using is just called red. It's 2BY. Then we have the golden yellow, which is a 13BY. And brown, which is a 6BY. <laughs> colors. I think the red probably has a little bit too much of a violet tint to it than I would like. They all blend out pretty well. Yeah, I like them. Okay, so I made another fade and I put just some lines over it just to see how the color reacts going over lines and over your black blended black areas. So I'm going to play with the colors for a minute and then after that I'm going to put some coffee on all four of these types of paper just to see how the coffee reacts with each paper because I know a lot of you guys like to put coffee stain on your flash and we'll see what that looks like after this. So all I'm really looking for here is to see if the color stays nice and saturated but also lets you see your lines and your black fades through the color. So I would say that's pretty successful. It looks a little better on the camera than it does in person. I think once it dries, it should be fine. 
yeah, overall I really like these inks. And I only tested the inks on this paper because this is the paper I'm going to be using. Alright, so let's do some uh, coffee stains and see how that looks. results from the coffee stain. It kind of seems like the arches paper, they both get a little bit of a lighter border in the coffee stain around the edge of the stain. You get kind of that darker lip, I don't know what to call it. Um, the Hannah Moule and the Windsor Newton seem to have a little bit of a darker edge around it. And they kind of seem to like spread out on the paper a little more where the arches seems to kind of stay where you put it but overall pretty similar results so I don't think it matters too much I will say I really like this Windsor Newton brand ink uh, it, didn't, it didn't move at all when I put the coffee on it so it is very waterproof yeah, that's about it. I hope this video helped you out. Um, if it did, uh, let me know in the comments. Or if you have any questions, or if you have any advice for me, I'd love to hear it. Alright, thanks a lot guys.